Hi, it's Dr. Joe. Welcome to the Two Minutes to Better Health Snowstorm Edition. Well, basically when there's a lot of snow like today, we have upwards of two feet of snow on the ground. There's a few things we think about. Kids excited about the snow day, adults thinking about how am I gonna clear all this snow, and as a chiropractor, I'm concerned about you hurting your back, okay? So we see you know, during the year, there's all sorts of reasons people hurt their backs. Well, shoveling snow and wrapping gifts, which many people will be doing today as well, are two of the primary reasons that I see people actually hurting their back. So what I wanna do is show you a couple simple things, one simple stretch actually that will help dramatically reduce the risk of low back pain for you. All right, so first of all, here's a little bit of an anatomy lesson, all right? So here's the low back which you can see was all red and inflamed there in the prior picture. Well, many people experience that and they think of doing low back stretches, which can be helpful. But ultimately, it's the muscles of the legs that can be so helpful in reducing low back pain. And specifically, what's called the uh, hamstring muscles, the bicep femoris, semitendinosus, semimembranosus, that basically go from the, the buttock muscles here all the way down to the back of the, the leg. So if you think about this, when you bend over at the waist, if your low back is tight, then you're gonna obviously feel it. But if your low back's reasonably loose and your legs are tight and you bend forward, if your legs stop early on in that movement, then your back has to do the rest of the work. So our goal is to keep these muscles in the back of the legs loose so when you're shoveling or you're leaning forward and maybe you know wrapping gifts or you're on the ground wrapping gifts, which I see is one of the worst positions for people, then we can help to dramatically reduce that. So here are the, basically it's one stretch, but here's two ways of doing it. So it shows this person sitting with their leg right out in front of them it's called a hurdler stretch, leaning forward at the waist, not bending your, your knee muscle, you know, your knee joint, uh, you're trying to focus on the muscles in the back of that leg, leaning forward, so you feel a really good stretch on the back of the leg there, and actually putting a little bit of pressure on the knee to keep that uh, down. Or if it's hard or you ha don't have good balance, please don't do this, putting your leg up on something, be on the ground like this, one leg crossed and leaning forward, trying to touch your toes. Now, even if you don't touch your toes, maybe you can only touch your knee, lean forward as much as you can, keeping your back as straight as you can. And if you do that, you're gonna have a tremendously good, almost uncomfortable to painful stretch in the back of the leg, but only go to mild discomfort, do it for two to three breaths. So maybe like 10 to 15 seconds per stretch, okay? Switch legs and then do it two or three times each. And if you do that, then you will dramatically reduce the risk of low back pain. So have fun today. Be out there in the snow. I know you have to snow blow and snow shovel, but definitely be safe. Spend five minutes maybe doing this before you go out there. If you come back inside and you cool off and then you go back out, again, stretch before you go back out because those muscles will get cool. Kids have fun out there. Everyone be safe. And I look forward to seeing you in a future video of Two Minutes to Better Health. We'll see you soon.